Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can install new fonts on your macOS computer. In my example, I'll be using macOS Monterey, but the instructions I'm gonna show you also apply to other macOS versions. So let's start. So here I have my macOS Monterey. First, what you need to do is to download fonts, and I advise you to download fonts from a reputable site. So I'm gonna download them from fonts.google.com. To do this, open Safari, and in Safari, go to fonts.google.com, and here you have many fonts. If you want to see what is the phrase that you're going to put looks like, you can type it here. So let me type here something. So hi from KS Tech, and here you see how the font will be with the words that you're going to be typing. So here you need to search for the font you want. And let's say we want to install like this Barlow font here. Just click on it and then click on download family. Once the font is downloaded, let's go to the downloads folder. So click on finder and here click on downloads. And here's the font downloaded. So when Safari downloads the font, it will download it and it will expand it at the same time. So this is a zip file that was expanded. Let me minimize Safari here. So now here's the font in your downloads folder. If you click here on the folder, you'll see like this is the font family here. So to install the font family, you can select everything. So just press on shift and select everything and double click anywhere. So all the family of fonts will be installed this way and you don't have to do this for each font and you simply click on install font. So it will open the font book and it will install the font for your user only. So if you have many users on your Mac computer, they will not see this font. So let me show you. So here's the font family installed. So here, as I told you, it is installed for your user only. I'm going to show you how you can install this for all the users of the computer. So let me first remove it from here. So right click on it and this is how you remove a font and simply click on remove Barlow family and click on remove and the font will be removed. So let me show you now how to install it for all the users of this computer. First make sure that font book is started and selected. If it is not started simply click on the launch pad here and key in font and here you can start it. So in our case it is already started. Just select it and then click here on the menu font book, click on preferences and under preferences here, click here this drop down list and select computer. And let's also select resolve duplicates. So this way it will delete old fonts if you have duplicates. And this is it. Let's close it. So now when you install a font, it will be installed under computer and not under user. And this way all the users of this computer will benefit from this font. So let's do the same for Barlow here. So it is still selected. So let's double click it and let's click on install font. And here, because we chose to install it for all the computer, you need to put the password for your user. After you put the password, click on install. And now the fonts are installed. You see under all fonts here, for all the users of this computer to use them. So let me show you now how the font will appear in an application. So let me start LibreOffice here. And by the way, if you want to know how to install LibreOffice for Mac, I've made a video on this. So you can check the link in the description. Let's start right here. And let me type also hi from KS Tech. And let's see if the Barlow font is here. So let's type Barlow. And you see the Barlow font is here. So in case you don't see the font that you installed here, it means that the application was started before you installed the font. So simply close down the application and reopen it and you will see the font. So that was it for this tutorial on how to install fonts on your Mac OS computer. I hope that you like it and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly. And this way you'll not miss any future videos I make. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.